Hello there, it's Mike. Um, I haven't been doing much filming uh, due to I've been busy and I don't think I've got much to say about a lot of the buses that we're working on or not working on. Things have been good. The RM1641 passed its class six earlier on. And she's been doing a few weddings and that. And uh, the RCL uh, finished the last wedding yesterday and um, we go go all over the place and really not to I try and keep it down to about 60 mile radius of, from home um, got a couple more to do but uh, it just helps uh, with some money for the vehicles really um, we don't make a living out of it but it is fun not the way I do it anyway and uh, <laughs> some people are very successful doing it but no we just do it up here uh, I enjoy using uh, the buses for um, you know shows and uh, do a little bit of charity work with them for things and that. But uh, yeah, so anyway, um, I'm going to put the RTW is inside the shed, and what saved me keep talking and you looking at my ugly mug as they say. Um, I will turn the camera around and then you can see the RTW because that's what I want to do a little film of. Okay. Right. Hope it all goes well. That's the Leyland. Um, the RCL there. That's where I do my maintenance and MOT prop preps and things like that. I've had some uh, good help from um, uh, Rob and Charlie. Very good. They've helped me out. Um, up the end. You can see the RTL diff went on it uh, two, two, three months ago on a job. Uh, we was all right with the people. We got another bus and this, that, and the other. So the wedding still went all right. But Rob managed to find somebody who had a diff over in Somerset. Anyway, we went over there and uh, very nice people. And um, we fitted it on. Um, a couple of days ago, uh, just here, that's where we do it, lift them up, and um, yeah, so she's she's going to be back on the road again, once we've checked it out, and go test some things, anyway, these are the tyres that I've just taken off of the RTW, um, as you can see, that's a four-piece rim, this one, quite rare, and I think London Transport did stop using them because they had a habit of coming apart and the other one is just a normal uh, free free uh, piece rims and uh, so I'm going to walk over have a look and uh, you can see KGU or Proud Mary um, is my favourite always will be 1254 um, had the engine out and we've uh, changed the rubber seals on the piston liners because um, she was breathing and, and one thing or another uh, just because they're porous and uh, good firm Trevor Wrigley um, not Trevor Wrigley what I'm talking about um, no, uh, Craig Tilsley who done the engine for me and uh, yes, they're very good. And uh, so I put the engine back in and COVID come and we all stop. So, <laughs> so there she sits still. So this is the W. Um, I was looking at it thinking how solid and how good it is considering all the W's that I know of. I think there's about eight of them somewhere. Um, a couple of people I know, Enzymes and London Truck and Bus have got uh, two. They've got two there. Um, but mainly they're all either not around or they're, uh, you know, in, in a, a state of uh, repair, which this one is. But this one is not a big overall job. Um, when I've changed panels on it and uh, on the lower side and put um, RT window 
frames in. I know people will moan, the purists, but at the time, it's better to have those windows in rather than nothing. Didn't think of having them made, and at the time, um, you didn't have the money as such. But anyway, so the downstairs of uh, windows are RTs. Uh, when I got the bus, somebody already started doing that, and that was on the offside, and they put RT window pans in it uh, themselves. I don't know who owned it, somebody could tell me, or whatever, but as far as I know, it is um, bought it from the people over in Richmond. And here she is. Put the two wheels on, two tyres. These tyres are ones that come from the RTL. Um, they look good, but they're not uh, age related. We've got to make sure the buses have got de decent tyres on. I mean, anybody normally r runs buses and uh, even as enthusiasts, got enthusiast buses, they always want to be careful and make sure things are, are running right. Uh, so that's why it's green. But there's plenty of tread on them, but they're just but it's handy for me to uh, just put them on. And the bus does look you know, better with tyres and plus uh, keep um, pumping the old ones up because they were really, you just seen them really splitting. Got the RT there. And uh, when you look up, um, up the top there, covered in dust inside the bus all right we keep some bits and pieces in the bus but this is what i got it from this side uh people that did own it um have been stripping it and one thing or another because it was belonged to gore's well i don't know who owned it then but it was at gore's shirt factories in enfield on the a10 and uh as you can see, but these screws, these are not the ones that I've done, but these um, have come out. So the wood is quite good, quite good. The riser's very good underneath. The platform is strong as anything. Um, and you can see the color it was. It was a creamy white with red roof and red at the bottom. There it is. And there's a cab. Oh, there's the, the, the indicator for the side because they're different frames as well, different mountains on there. Um, and it hasn't been stripped and ripped of anything. As you can see, like it's eight foot. It's still got its ba uh, badge on the steering wheel. And uh, somebody's modified the indicator switch, but anyway. Yes, so. Right, there she is. There's the number. It's really RTW329. Um, and uh, yes, I quite uh, think she's good. And uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, if I work together with some friends to. Uh, I seem keen to do it, but um, yeah, it uh, be some, it'd be another, it's another one saved whether I do it or, or don't do it. Um, somebody will come along and want one. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope I haven't wa waffled on for ages. Um, and I hope everybody in the bus world and everywhere else is um, all well after all the COVID stuff. And uh, it's nice to see the buses out and uh, things happening now, isn't it? Perhaps it'll get uh, back to more normal other days. Thank you anyway, thank you.